as I look at hardworking middle class uh, New Jerseyans trying to get ahead, I feel that they fall further behind. A new class of college graduates preparing to enter the workforce, but the question is at what cost to them and their families, and at what cost if something should happen to them before the loan is paid off. The experience of the family of Christopher Brisky in my state of New Jersey illustrates how challenging these issues can sometimes be. In 2004, Christopher was a student at Rutgers when he suffered a severe traumatic brain injury. It left him in a vegeta vegetative state for two years before he tragically passed away. During this time of hardship, Christopher's parents were shocked to learn that his student loan debt continued, that not the injury nor Christopher's death was enough to stop the debt from growing. While some private lenders make clear that they will discharge recent loans in the event of a borrower's death or disability, others do not clearly communicate to co-signers what their obligations will be, leaving families like Christopher's to find out that they are on the hook for the full cost of the loan, no matter what. We need to take a step back and think about how we approach the student loan process, especially in cases like Christopher's. This month, new graduates will be starting their careers, and before they collect their first paycheck, they'll already be burdened by massive student loan debt. Like Christopher, if something happens to them, the burden in many cases will fall to family members, many of whom are already struggling to make ends meet. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, the share of 25-year-olds with student debt continued to rise last year, and the total outstanding balance now exceeds $1.1 trillion. That's nearly 30,000 for an average student loan borrower in New Jersey. The burden for families are real, and the need for consumer protection, I believe, is critical. That's why today, Mr. Chairman, with Senators Brown and Booker, I'm introducing Christopher's Law, a simple and common sense bill that will require student loan providers to clearly communicate to borrowers and their co-signers what their obligations will be in the instance of death or disability. By increasing transparency in this simple and small way, the bill can save families like Christopher's years of potential hardship down the road. I also plan to introduce separate legislation in the coming weeks to address two other related issues. First, in the Brisky situation, when the lender ultimately forgave Christopher's student loan debt after six years, his parents were then hit with a large tax bill on what is deemed under the law to be income. The bill I'll be introducing will end that practice, which unnecessarily burdens families and the economy. Second, if something unfortunate happens to the co-signer of student loan, death, disability, or bankruptcy, some borrowers have gone into default despite never missing a payment or doing anything wrong. That's simply unacceptable. So I look forward to discussing this issue with you further today, Director Cordray, and uh, look forward to being able to make a change so that death and disability isn't a continuing challenge to families. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.